Hmm. I did not think Ackles could be the be the guy that did it. It was surprising. Uh. Mike. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mike. This whole time, I thought it was Regina that did it. Just because she's so uncaring. Uncaring. Yeah. She was like, "Yeah, I killed him." So, you know, <laughs> I was like, I thought she was oh, gonna yeah. be wild. <laughs> Just ask her. Oh yeah. But it's looking real sussy for Acro. I, I can't believe it. Acro? It's pretty shocking, isn't it? it? It definitely is. And to think it was also the most straightforward of our group. The calm people are always the craziest, Mac. You should know this. Javis, am I dad hated? Yeah, kind of. Yes, everybody hates you. For the most part. Ahem. Uh, Echo tried to pin the murder on you on purpose. He... he did? Psst, psst, psst. <laughs> but, but, uh, I'm nothing but little nobody, you know? I'm not a famous person or nothing. But you're not, which is kind of the reason why. <clears throat> hey, hey, pal! You're gonna ignore me after I'm through all this trouble to bring some evidence? You know, Gumshoe, you gotta do your iconic. Sorry, am I interrupting anything, guys? You know, you're better when you do that. That's how you get noticed. Ah, oh, Detective Gumshoe. Uh, forget it. I'm going home. This guy deserves to be guilty, anyways. Nah, no, Detective. I'm sorry. Look, why don't you relax a little? We got some really tasty milk. Like, lots of them. We got two gallons worth. How about cartridge, Detective? Oh, well, if you insist. Now, about the evidence you mentioned. Well, what is it? Here you go. Wow, what a bro. Huh? This was yesterday in Acro's room. Yep, I'm gonna include the forensic results. Take a look at it later. Won't Miss Von Karma be mad that you're doing this? That's why this is all secret. Huh? Look, details are on a need-to-know basis, and we're not really allies or anything. But everything that's happened in court up to now has gone according to our plan. I, I don't know, Miss Von Karma doesn't seem in control of things in there just now. You'll figure it out eventually, pal. Yesterday, our final plans were set into motion. Final plans? Uh-huh. That reminds me. I got a message for the, from the prosecutor for you. Nothing is ever truly decided until the very end. That's it. So true. That's it for me too, pal. I'm out of here. What do you mean by that? The very end part? I'm not sure. It's all pretty cryptic to me. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> ah, it doesn't come to me like that. Uh, looks like there's a large care package from the circus for the defendant. What? For me? It's milk. <laughs> so much fucking milk. <laughs> the reception area looks like some score dairy. So hurry up and drink it all before it spoils. An entire dairy's worth of milk for me? That's a go. Of course, now back in session. Ms. Von Karma, please continue from where you left off. I'd like to continue with Akro's testimony, starting with his relationship to the victim. I'd also like to get proof from the defense. Proof of what kind of motive Akro would have to commit this crime. Understood. Now, Mr. Dingling? Yes, Your Honor. Please proceed with your testimony. Finally, we get to the motive. Wait, Nick, are you okay? Just do me a favor and don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. Hmm. When we were little, we were abandoned by our parents. That's when the ringmaster of the Barry Bay Circus, Russell Barry, took us in. I became an acrobat at around nine years old. I wanted to find a way to repay the ringmaster. That was my sole purpose in life. Hmm. Such a thoughtful young man. As you heard, the witness deeply respected the victim. I wonder how anyone could think that Akro would kill the man he held in such esteem. 
You are absolutely right. How could anyone think that, Mr. Wright? Which is why there's no real need for a cross-examination, is there? Actually, that's the question I'm trying to answer myself. Why would Acro kill the ringmaster? This might be my last chance to answer that question. Of course I'll do it. The defense has a right to cross-examine the witness. Huh. You're so tactless, Mr. Phoenix, right? You don't care about justice, do you? You just want to fabricate a motive. Very well, Mr. Wright. Cross-examine the witness. Alright. Sounds like we're gonna be... First, I wanna look at that, uh... That thing we got. Bat scar stain with his blood and a small quality of pepper, huh? Quantity, name. Quantity. Quantity, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you know where this is where this is going, huh, Shane? Oh, I know. All right, well, when we were little, we were banned out by our parents. Okay, that's when the ringmaster at the Berry Big Circus, Russell Berry, took us in. Yep. Also, sending you something unrelated, but it's a new OP of an anime that's actually pretty good, and the manga is pretty good. Okay, I'll check out there. Yep. Let's see. <clears throat> that's when the ringmaster at the Berry Big Circus took us in. I became an acrobat at around nine years old. I wanted to find a way to repay the ringmaster. Sole purpose in life. Okay, we gotta start pressing, I think. Okay, now right now. So. Should we just press everything? Or do you think we should just target specific things? Uh, I think we could just press some stuff. All right, when I was little, we were banned by. Oh, <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I don't know if we need to bring up. You were abandoned. Yes, yes. That's why I was thinking like this. I don't think this will help. Uh, this it's is probably where we can start pressing. I guess it. Yeah. How would you describe your relation with the ringmaster? He was like an uncle, a father, and a big brother all rolled up into one. The ringmaster and my brother. We're the only family I had. Hmm, what about other people at the circus? This was over 15 years ago. Back then, there were very few customers coming in. So no one really had the time to look after us. They were worried about other things. But the ringmaster, he would always come see us with a laugh and a smile. What a beautiful story. That's why I was always thinking of what I could do to help. I wanted to thank him. Nick, isn't Akko such a wonderful person? I know, he seems like a nice guy, which is what makes it so difficult. Hmm, so then how long have you been a performer? I came to Acrobat around nine years old. I don't think that... Don't, I, that that doesn't matter. need to be pressed. Nine years old. I want to find a way to repay Ringmaster. That was my sole purpose in life, yeah? I guess this is the last one. <laughs> this is the last statement anyways. Did you ever have any trouble with the Ringmaster? Ow! How could you ask such a has thing? Not Acro at all, has she? No, she feels sympathy towards him. That's good. <laughs> How could you ask such a thing, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Do you have some sort of fundamental misunderstanding of this witness's testimony? Or the heartfelt emotions contained within? You better think about this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You better think hard. Ow! Ow! Hmm, no matter how you look at it, there's no way I could see this witness ever taking the victim's life. Exactly. I've been waiting for you to say that, Your Honor. And what did you we already me? know it was accidental. <laughs> Nick, I hate to say it, but I agree with him. Yeah, but we gotta get there. I was trying to chase down the truth, but yeah. I end up just looking like a jerk. What do you think, Nick? I don't know. I think the more I cross them, the worse I end up looking in the end. You, you mean... I get the feeling that this cross examination was a trap. Yeah, Von Karma set you up again. Uh, oh, damn. Okay. We gotta press so the backstories then, huh? <laughs> you gotta sadly press things. Okay. Heck, we're about nine years old. I think the first one is the least one that'll help us. You started off as an acrobat at that early of an age? I, I, begged the I begged the ringmaster until he finally agreed to let me do it. Ever since then, I've been in incredible physical shape. 
That's also when I decided to form a group with my brother. We call ourselves the Flying Dingling Berries. It's nearly a household name. I've even heard of them in Germany. A liar. The point is that I want to be of some use to the circus. Hmm, you're a truly remarkable young man. The judge keeps looking at Akko almost like a proud father. Huh. I want to finally pay the ringmaster that was my soldier. It's like, fuck. <laughs> press it. No, we really did. Can... Oh, that one we did? Yes. Alright. Uh, the only I one guess left is the one. abandoned by our parents. Yeah. Alright, tell us about your childhood traumas. <laughs> we? Me and my yes. brother. My brother, Sean and I. The one in the coma. <laughs> what? You have a brother? How old were you when this happened, Acro? I was eight years old and my brother was four. Mm, your parents were very cruel, weren't they? Nowadays, we aren't bitter about what happened to us. Because they allowed us to meet the wonderful people at the very big circus. Nick, the judge is getting misty-eyed. It's got a soft spot for soft stories, it looks like. Ow! No crying in court! Let's keep going! The witness may proceed with his testimony. I think that'll be enough for now. Pondering whether or not this man will kill the ringmaster leads me to believe that it is pretty unlikely. And exactly right, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, I'd like to ask you a question. Go ahead, Your Honor. I would like I would just like to know. Can you provide an explanation to why Akko will want the ringmaster dead? Uh yes. No. Oh no, no. If I can provide an explanation of why he wants someone else dead. Nick? Yeah, I didn't even have to think about it. It was obvious from the start. Your Honor? The reason why that Acro killed the Remaster is something that can't be proven. But what? That's because Acro had no reason to kill the Remaster at all! You know, you were just saying all cool like Phoenix, but you make us look bad. Ow! Your foolish attempts to fool us like foolish fools is so foolhardly foolish. Did you forget? You made an accusation against this witness, did you not? Shame, I'm starting to, I'm starting to have a theory that Von Karma has a tick when she says the word fool. And it triggers uh -huh. tremendously oh. whenever she says it. <laughs> like yeah. she gets stuck in saying it? Yes, I, I think it's a deeply rooted trauma. But we'll get to that theory another day. <laughs> yeah. I believe it was. This is the real killer of Russell Berry, Ringmaster. If you want to jump to the end of things, then yeah, that sounds about right. The end of things? Acro? You didn't plan to kill the ringmaster at all, did you? The ringmaster wasn't your target that night. What did you say? I'm saying that the target of the witness's murderer's plot was not the ringmaster. Because it was never his intention to kill Russell Berry to begin with. What? Order, order! Bailiff, I don't care who it is, smack anyone who's loud in the face, twice if you must! <laughs> Mr. Wright, what in the world are you trying to do to my court? Ow! Mr. Phoenix Wright, what, are you, what in the world are you trying to do to his court? Are you attempting to imply that Akros is trying to kill someone else? Da ding Oh, bam! Regina, when he said to smack someone in the face, I thought of that. <laughs> character from John Wick or it's like I am Bruce or whatever that guy's name was. Oh, Klaus. I am Klaus. <laughs> <laughs> this young girl is the ringmaster's daughter, correct? Acro, you were really aiming for her that night, weren't you? You don't need to answer that. It's a mean-spirited leading question. He could, have eas he could easily answer that question. If I'm wrong, all he has to say is, you're wrong. That's it. Ooh, we're setting up a trap, baby. I like it. Yeah. That's, Under oath. That's it, huh, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Enough, Mr. Wright. Allow me to. Ow! The only thing I'm allowed to interrupt me is death itself. Huh? And that goes for you too, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Show me evidence, now. 
I want to know why Akro would want to kill Regina Berry. No, it's your second favorite evidence, Nang. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. I demand to see some proof. Present evidence that proves Akro is out to kill this young girl. Ba bam. Ba bam. Take that. Akro, you remember this, don't you? That's. It's a piece of paper that we found inside the ringmaster's tailcoat. Inside the victim's tailcoat. Oh, is that why he went to the sand crime scene? Because he got the paper? Right? Uh, he had half of it. Yeah, but the half of it but... was the location and the time. Yeah. And that's why he went to the crime scene. Oh, okay, okay. Did he get the... Unless he... No, Was he... it him that... Regina oh. got it. She put it on the the cafeteria board, and then and then Russell uh, ripped off the bottom half and put it in his shirt. And then oh, later that night, did Russell maybe think it was for he, him or something because of the lion? Yeah, maybe he thought that someone's after him for killing the lion when it was actually for Regina. You know, Acro wrote this note. It's an ironically entitled to the murderer. Its purpose was to call someone to the plaza at 10 p.m. So you're saying that he called Russell Berry with that note? Yes, but there's just one little problem. Problem? Aqua did indeed place this note into someone's pocket. However, that someone was not the ringmaster. Y you mean it wasn't for the... That's exactly what I mean. The person is no was intended for none other than Regina Berry. Order, order, order! M Mr. Wright, this little theory of yours! It's the truth, Your Honor. It isn't a theory. Simply put, Regina didn't think the note was meant for her, because she's dumb. Which is why, the morning of the crime, she placed it on the cafeteria bulletin board. Now, that's when her father, I mean the ringmaster, saw the note? That's correct. The ringmaster ended up in the plaza instead of Regina. And he was killed because of that mistake. Instead of Regina. That's... that's... that's incredible. Remember the testimony that Akro gave us earlier today. Lifting the bus and looking out of the window would have been impossible. Mmm, so he didn't know who he was killing. No way I could have this kind of force my lower body. How I do that, I end up falling out of the window myself. Akra had no idea who it was that arrived in the plaza. Because he couldn't look down out of his window to see who it actually was. I've got it, I got it. Akra thought it was Regina down in the plaza. And that's when he let the bus fly. Hey Nick. Isn't Regina listening to all this from the audience? She's right over there, I can see her. She's waving at me. I'm waving at her. <laughs> she is. Unfortunately, it's only going to get harsher from here. I hope Regina can handle it. Akra wrote this note to Regina. Foolishly foolish fool with foolishly foolish, foolish fool foolish ideas fool. of foolish tomfoolery. You're so foolish, you even made me sound like a fool hearted fool. It's a it's a tick, Shane. I'm telling you right now, it's a tick. Yep. It's her nervous tick. Uh, very well, Mr. Phoenix, right? If you're so sure, then tell us about this line. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Yeah, what about that line? Well, if the note was meant for Regina Berry, it would mean that this note is declaring that Regina Berry is a murderer. You just don't get it, do ya? You foolish. You foolish, you fool. foolish you fool. What? What did you say? The ringmaster knew what the note meant, which is why he went to the plaza in place of his lovely daughter. Uh, hold it right there, Mr. Wright. What is this incident that is alluded to in the note? The incident six months ago. I know all about it, baby. Well, bam. An incident occurred six months ago. And now I am more than ready to show this court what happened at that time. M moron! Wait, are you sure it, will relate it relates to the present case? It does indeed, Your Honor. Everything in this case has, has to st it start in what happened six months ago. Really, Nick? 
I, uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Trust me, just trust me on it. Oh, well then, if that's the case, hurry up and tell us about it. What is this conclusive evidence mentioned in the note? I know, I certainly like to know what it is. If I can't answer that question, the judge is going to think I'm bluffing. The conclusive evidence about that instant six months goes actually... Conclusive about that instant six months goes actually... This, right? That or bat. Or bat, yeah. But I, I think, I think if it was bat, they would be like who, you know? He said conclusive. It says conclusive evidence in red letters, which is the uh, scarf, I think. You finish. Go. What? This is it? Well, uh -oh. um, I figured out. I tried to get rid of evidence. I didn't, you know. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Uh, I mean, we're gonna be there anyways. Yeah. Inclusive. I'm also a big climax, which means the matter can't mess again. Closer evidence about the incident six months ago is actually Leon. Mm, thinking bat because it has to relate to arrow. So bat. B -b -b bat. B bat. What this is it? Oh right. no! I was wrong. Damn. We need conclusive evidence. I mean, we got the right idea, you know? Oh, the bottle. In the box. This? Yeah. I don't know, the six months ago was actually... Hmm. Uh, scary. Ah, true! Ah, true! 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 I mean, he could, this could have been the same reaction if we showed him the scarf. Just saying. He hits him anyway. <laughs> He's sneezing. He hits him. What kind of spicy joke is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? It is a joke at all. It's the decisive evidence you asked for. Well, what do you mean? Recall that the victim was trying to take the wooden box away with him. He was doing so because this piece of decisive evidence was inside. Another unbelievable conclusion. Well, very well, Mr. Wright. So what exactly are you saying? Are you claiming Regina Berry killed someone for a small bottle of pepper? Taking the note into account, that's the only logical conclusion you can draw. But foolishly fools, every time there's some foolish ways. You'd be so sure, Mr. Fink's right to answer this question. Oh, it's all or nothing, Shane. I got this. Who's Regina Berry's intended victim? Bat, right? Yeah. Oh, who is this? That is Akro's younger brother. What does this prove? His younger brother isn't dead. Technically, that's true. However, Bat has been in a coma for six months now. It's not stretch to see how Akro could feel that his brother's dead. Regina, she did that to him? Do you spend your entire life dreaming of new ways to be a fool? Naturally, the prosecution has looked into Akro's brother, Sean Dingling. Six months ago, he was bit by a lion and fell into his current comatose state. Uh, l -l lion Regina, I mean Miss Regina Barry, is an animal tamer by trade. However, no tamed animal in that position is ever trained to attack another human. They wouldn't understand the command. Moreover, Miss Regina could never do something like that. It's just not in her. Hmm, so then what happened to Echo's brother? He's not the victim of an attempted murder. He's the victim of an accident. I see. Mm -hmm. Now what do we do? No one seems to be going along with your theory. Hey, did I heard that evidence I was trying to get rid of earlier? <laughs> do you think what happened to a bear was actually an accident? It was more than that. The lion biting bat was no accident at all. But what? You're such an amateur, Mr. Phoenix Wright. There is no way that Regina will ever incite her lion to attack another human being. She may not have incited the lion to attack another human being. But Regina is responsible for making the lion bite Akro's brother, Bat. With this scarf. Yarr. That's... that's just a scarf. Akro. Bless you. <laughs> Shut up, Shane. <laughs> The scarf is something that Bat used to wear, correct? That's right. And who is the one that gave the scarf to Bat? 
Re Regina. Regina gave it to him. Regina. There is something more than just blood in the scarf, Your Honor. And what might that be? Pepper. Pepper? Pepper. Pepper. Regina gave the scarf to Bat right before the accident. And she covered it as much pepper as she could. Hey, what's with the side treatment? Ow. Ow. Um, excuse me, Mr. Wright. You've done a good job fingering our criminal. But out of curiosity, what was our crime? Um... Miss Barry gave a pepper cover scarf to Bat as a present. Where's the crime in that? It still seems like the judge just doesn't get it. Ooh, but she does. <laughs> Mr. Phoenix right. Wasn't it said that the lion seemed to be smiling? Smiling? The lion was smiling? Right before Bat was bitten by the lion. For, for a moment, the lion mouth changed and it looked like he was smiling. Lions? Smile? I, I've never heard of them smiling, however... Lions? Sneeze! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Leon wasn't trying to bite Bat at all! In reality, all he actually did was sneeze! Chomp. He sneezed because of all the pepper on the scarf. Oh, what? You foul! You gotta be kidding me. Uh, what's the matter, Miss Von Karma? I, I, I ob object for objection's sake. This sounds Phoenix like early right. Phoenix. <laughs> Mr. Phoenix right, you, this theory, you believe it? You really intend to say that that this is how the this joke of an accident really happened? Of course I do, it's the truth. The lion sneezed due to the pepper and that's when Bat lost consciousness. Akron nearly lost his brother due to that accident, or this joke as you put it. Which is why he tried to get his revenge against Regina. You foolish idiot. Huh. <laughs> oh, he's freaking out. Look at him. Seem like a terrible joke, doesn't it? Once again, I'm impressed by your imagination, Mr. Wright. To think that there was someone who treats this accident with the respect it deserves. Are you telling me that what I said was true? Uh, Acro? You don't mean, you can't mean, witness? Uh, are you confirming the defense's claim? Mr. Wright? Unfortunately, your imagination is not enough to find me guilty of murder. Damn, he just straight up. <laughs> Cold. <laughs> uh, that's a confession. <laughs> well, what do you mean by that? The pepper, the scarf, the, the line. I see where you're going, but it's a bit hard to swallow. That's if you need it out. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that there's an even bigger problem with your theory. What would that problem be? The same problem it's always been. Evidence. If I drop Max's bus on top of the ringmaster, where's the evidence that proves that claim? Um, ow, ow. Hmm, you mean the conclusive evidence? The biggest problem is the murder weapon, or the lack thereof to be more precise. The murder weapon? The bus the defense claims was used. If that were to be found in Echo's room, and if it was covered with the victim's blood, that would be awfully conclusive in my eyes. Yes, it would be. Oh, we're supposed to figure out where it is? The bus. Nick, you gotta do something. I just the last step. If I get this one right, the case is won. Uh, uh, 
I don't it, need to do that. I think it's just. Is it? I don't think it's his. Uh, I mean, we. It's not in his room. Yeah, it would have been. Mm. See how things play out? Because I don't. I don't think it's his room. I really don't. No. I think he would be smarter than that. Yeah, let's just see how things work out. Yeah. Might be worthwhile to search Akko's room, but... Well, why aren't you going to search his room? Why are you reading my mind? Everyone's reading my mind! Stop it! Yeah, it looks like Stop you found a big thing out, didn't you? Now you know the true meaning of Von Karma Total Justice. I guess. I figured with you, that's the least I should expect. You leave no stone unturned. Yeah, also she was- Oh, she was in his room! Yeah. Oh, she took it. Ow. Ow. I'm on karma, never leaves anything to chance. We already searched Akko's room yesterday. What? what did you find? There's no reason to even say it. If we found what you think we found in that room, Akko would not be here as a witness. But to put a point on it, Max's boss was not in the room. The murder weapon is still unaccounted for. You see, Mr. Wright? The boss wasn't in my room. Furthermore, Detective Dick Gumshoe executed the search by complete surprise. And we took Acro directly to the prosecutor's office after that. End of story. The end. The end. Just, just wait a second. T something's funny about all this. <laughs> it looks like you lacked the final nail to put into my coffin. But, but, what about the scarf? What about the note? What about them, Mr. Wright? No offense, but the only evidence that's relevant here is that which pertains to the death of the ringmaster. You should know that by now. Arr. Do something, Nick. Don't let this case slip away. The bus, where's it now? Mm, where's that bus right now? Your Phoenix right. You know where that bus is. I'm sure you do. There's not even a single clue. How am I supposed to know where the bus is? Seems this case is coming to a close. The defense's counter argument looks to have fallen short. Thank you for your support. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Wright. I think this brings to an end of the cross nation of this witness. Hold it. Where is Max's bus? The defense needs time to prepare to present its lace. I mean case. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous and I just bit my tongue. Huh? What? We need time to do what? No, ow! <laughs> Why are you the most surprised here? She's your aid, ain't she? Do, do you really have a case to present, Mr. Wright? What, what? What? Are you asking me? The rest is up to you, Nick. Good luck. Uh, hey, wait. You can't be serious. Acrobats always have their lives on the line, don't they? That's how Acro lives life up until now. Now it's time for us to walk across our own tightrope. If we don't, we're certain to lose. Very well. The defense may proceed. He doesn't have a clue, and I don't he'll think he'll be finding one anytime soon. Welcome the tight rope of logic. There's no room for a false step. Time to think outside the box. <laughs> think or swim. The only way through is forward. I think I think we are gonna have to think outside the box. Time for a page out of Mia's book. The murder weapon. Where is Max's bus now? Uh. 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 We're in the courtroom. That's a. Hmm. It. I think it has. I think it's in. I think it's here. I think she brought it here. Try that. Let's go I don't think, for it. I don't think it's in the circus at all. Like no. zero chance. It's obvious. The bus is inside this very courtroom. It. It's obviously where. Allow me to pinpoint the location of the bus once and for all. The witness the stand. The witness stand. He has it. Ah. <laughs> uh, In his wheelchair. Just hiding it. 
It's just hiding in his wheelchair? Is that really the answer? Damn, this is... The judge's best. I mean, it doesn't make sense for it to be the judge's bench, right? Walking on a t Metaphorically, he's walking on a tightrope, but he's sitting on his tightrope. I, th yeah, I, I think he has it. Try it. Do it. It doesn't make sense for it to be the judge or, or for it to be on Von Karma's bench. Acro. I'm sorry to ask this, but do you mind if I take the blanket off your wheelchair? I forgot he has a blanket on! <laughs> I fit with them. I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you, Mr. Wright. Well, you are a big guy, and you have a pretty big wheelchair because of it. I just want to make sure you weren't hiding anything under that blanket. It seems to me, it's really easy to say, hide a bust under there. Mm, that, that, now that we actually get to see the bottom, it's pretty big. <laughs> Once again, your penchant for humor hits me where it hurts, Mr. Wright. I think it's pretty amazing that you can laugh in your position. However, your light hardness doesn't change the fact that the boss is under there. We all know that you can't leave the lodging house by yourself in your condition. That proves inconvenient when Miss Von Karma happened to search your room yesterday. If she had found the murder weapon in your room, it would have been all over. Which is why you had to hide it in the only place that you could hide it. Under your wheelchair. Which is why, Acro, I have to ask you again. Would you please remove the blanket from your lap? Well done, Mr. Wright. Massively played. You fool! How could you? You got me. I've been bagged by a real pro. Actually, two of them. Two of them? Miss Francisco Von Karma, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? Stop. How dare you call us a team? There's just one thing I'd like to know. How did you know to launch the surprise search on my room last night? Hmm? There were two pieces of decisive evidence. The cloak and the bust. I burned the cloak in my room and threw the ashes away with the trash. Regina always took my trash out every morning, you know. But the bust. Obviously, I couldn't throw that away. When you execute your search, all I could do was try to hide the bust. And the only place that I could hide it quickly was under this wheelchair. Miss Von Karma, you had things all figured out, didn't you? And you're trying to hide it. I was completely sucked in by your calculated strategy. And now to be caught in the middle of court hiding the murder weapon. There's no way I can escape that. So you got me. Well done, Mr. Wright. Well done, Miss Von Karma. Hmm. It all makes sense now. I can't believe that Von Karma thought that far ahead. It's amazing. Uh-huh. You definitely couldn't tell by looking at her. I know I sure couldn't. I can't believe it. Me? Make a mistake? Why did I order a surprise search of your room? If only I hadn't done that. Seems I finally arrived at the truth. Acro. Yes, Your Honor. Did you kill the ringmaster of the Berry Big Circus, Mr. Russell Berry? Yes, Your Honor. I'm responsible for that crime. Acro. All my brother wanted was for Regina to like him. That's why he teased her. One day, my brother sprinkled some pepper on Regina. 
She started sneezing so hard. You couldn't help yourself from laughing. That's why Regina thought it'd be funny to get him back in the same way. And that's why she covered the scarf with pepper. I know she didn't mean for anything bad to happen. I know this. She just wanted to make my brother sneeze a few times too. But I just couldn't forgive her, no matter what. What am I truly guilty of? I'm guilty of never ever being able to understand her. Your brother became a star. Regina believed that so purely. And she would laugh innocently when saying it. Too innocently. I just couldn't stand it. No matter how hard I tried. That's when we decided to do something about Regina. How dreadful. So are you saying that you are a victim in all this as well? No. That's not what I mean. He broke down. I'm nothing but a murderer. That's who I am. First, I thought I'd kill myself. I pondered giving myself up. But I couldn't just up and leave. I just couldn't. Not yet. That's why I tried to pin this on Max. Max, I'm so sorry. I just, just, just couldn't up and leave yet. This has been such a strange case. It's almost a reflection of the circus itself. I'm an idiot. I can't believe it, you beat me again on international news on international television I believe this case is now beyond any point of possible discussion thus I'd like to declare my verdict wow this case was the saddest case yet yeah Woo! <laughs> this court is adjourned F -f fabulous but to be honest I can't really be too happy about this I curled the ringmaster Regina and bat not a single one that was a bad person inside huh that's a good question and one I don't know the answer to many congrats but only a max a million of them Th thank you What's with the vibe in this room? It's killing my vibe. We we're just thinking about Acro. No, 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 no. If you worry about people too much, then you'll be like this forever and never be happy. Huh? Ah! She's been like this for a while now. Ah, it's all my fault. Ah! Damn, it really is all my fault. <laughs> Guilt. So, so sweetie, so sweetie pie. Kind of cringe. Bat and Agro, they're never come back. Now, now everyone's gonna split up. Regina, Mr. Wright, tell me something. Oh, well, what do you want me to know, Regina? Agro said something right at the end. Just gonna up and leave yet. Does that mean that Acro is he gonna try and get revenge on me? No, no. no. I think I think uh, he, he wanted to face his uh, sins. He's not gonna do that to you, Regina. Are you sure? You really sure? I can believe that. Yep, Acro doesn't have any desire for revenge anymore. If that's true. Then I want to see some evidence. Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> I want to know you're not just making up stuff for Acro not wanting revenge. Uh, uh. little brother. Uh, little brother wouldn't want that. Yeah, you're right. You're right.
Take that. <laughs> Echo didn't want to get caught for a reason. He wanted to see his brother open his eyes again. But bad. That's right, Regina. He's still alive, you know. Yeah. I never knew. But now that Echo's been caught. Uh huh. I know. What? I'll do it. I'll stay next to Bass as long as it takes. Until he opens his eyes, and then until we can meet Acro again. That's so sweet of you, Regina. Still killed your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Shane, it's already been established. She doesn't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, she just needs people to turn into stars. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Acro. I'm sorry, Bat. I mean, she cried for her friends. She did not cry for her dad at all. <laughs> Right now, Bat. Well, he, he did kill her favorite line. <laughs> well, hopefully, this is enough to give her a little peace of mind. Hey, Max. Oh, what is it, Mo? We really put you through a lot, didn't we, buddy? I'm sorry about what happened. So, whenever you'd like to leave us, I'll pay your fee and rip up the contract. I understand. What a fabulous thing for me to do. I might even leave tomorrow. Fuck this place. I'm out of here. <laughs> What's gonna happen to a circus now? Uh, that's the big question. Our ringmaster was really an amazing person, wasn't he? Hmm. Even though he's not here anymore, everyone is sticking together. The staff, the performers, no one wants to leave the circus. That's why I've made a decision. Well, what is it? I've decided that I will take over as the new ringmaster. And open up Burger Clown. <laughs> I'll turn this circus into the best circus this world has ever seen. The best circus this world has ever seen? D -d -d Don't laugh. That's quite the goal. Yeah, I can't wait. Then I guess that changes things. Huh? There's only one thing the best circus in the world has ever seen needs. The world's best illusions. Which means this circus needs the best magician the world's ever seen. Max. Let's work together and make our circus super fabulous. What do you say, big guy? I, I don't know what to say. All I can say is thank you. Um... Regina, you're gonna help them out too, aren't you? Um, I, I don't know. Maybe the circus would be better off without me. What are you talking about, Regina? Why do you think that I brought you to court today? Um. You see me that I was a target? <laughs> <laughs> We've got to work together to make the very big circus bigger than it's ever been. No. no. Most right, sweetie pie. It can't be the very big circus for Regina Berry. Oh, Max. Nick. It seems like everything is going to turn all right here. Those three are going to make the best circus ever. Ben and Trio, you guys are getting laid off. I'm sorry. You guys are out of a job. You're out of here. I can't wait to go see the best circus the world's ever seen. We'll save you the most fabulous seats. It'll take us a while to get ready, but I'm going to order special whoopee cushion seats. <laughs> One final joke. Dang, he's laughing. He's just laughing all the way to the end. <laughs> oh? Oh? See, what made the case? Yes, it's the price rate. Really paid off just like said it would, sir. Um, you had it all figured out, didn't you? Just a theory. Akko really was the killer. I thought this was the only way it could end. Especially if he was the defense attorney. You mean Mr. Wright? Of course. Well, Detective, my plane is about to leave. That's for Mr. Akko's case, you need not worry. Uh... I plan to personally stop by the Chief Prosecutor's office as soon as I get back. Edgeworth! Hey, I'm honest, sir. I'll be waiting for you. Mr. Edgeworth. What have you been doing, Edgeworth? You've been up to spooky, shady things.
Ooh, chapter four. Oh, look who's oh. back, baby. The king is back. <laughs> 